Dishes. Done. Changing the sheets. Done. Taking out the rubbish. Done. Rearranging the shelves. Done. Fixing the upstairs sink. Done. Oh. All done then. I guess we can just like uh, chill out and relax tonight. Mm. You know what? I think I'm just gonna vacuum the guest bedroom upstairs and then just like fix the um, fireplace as well today. Yeah. Just like get yeah. over with today. I'll help you yeah. out with it. Let's do it. Yeah. Hi beautiful souls, it's Tan here again today with another Sinistry video doing Venus in Houses Overlay and we're gonna do Venus in Partners 6 House today and I think this is the last Venus Overlay in Sinistry video. Finally we're gonna complete this series. I know it's been taking, I've taken a while with it. It's been months since I started Venus in the first house and now we're finishing off with Venus in the sixth house. <laughs> I have made an introduction video to Sinistries and you can watch that first by clicking the links up above and in the description box below to kind of get an idea about what each of the houses mean in Sinistry because it's going to be kind of different from what it actually means in your natal chart. So yeah, you can watch that and then come back and watch this video. So Venus is that part of someone that has to do with love and romance and um, harmony and um, culture and art and relationships. And the sixth house is the part of someone that is not about those things. Whatever sign rules a person's sixth house is how that person is likely to view work. Like daily actual work, health, routine, you know, tedious things that they have to do on a daily basis. Um, so, well, first of all, when Venus comes into when one person's Venus comes into another person's sixth house, the house person, a lot of the times, is not likely gonna be very drawn to the Venus person unless there are other things going on in the chart. And if you are in a romantic relationship, then there are probably other, you know, things going on like the moon making some aspects, or maybe this Venus making some romantic, attractive, sexual aspect. Otherwise, um, we wouldn't really choose to <clears throat> be in a relationship with someone who has Venus in our sixth house if there are no other romantic or sexual linkages, right? Then we could just be friends or we could just be acquaintances. Because, <clears throat> there, because you know, there's this part of us, right? And a part of a relationship that we want to have romance. And Venus is the planet that can do that for us, and the moon too, of course, and Neptune. So that's why I'm saying that, you know, the Venus part of the relationship is not really going to be bringing the romance, but maybe the Neptune is, or the moon is, you know, or the Mars is bringing something sexual, right? But the actual romantic uh, planet itself is not going to make the house person feel that way about the planet person. So... But the other thing is that if the house person themselves are kind of six housey, or they are Virgo, have a lot of Virgo in their chart, okay, then you know, they might like the Venus person because the Venus person is going to kind of become really, really helpful to the house person in any possible way. Like they're gonna want to help with their health, they're gonna want to help with their work, they're gonna want to help with things that goes on in the house. The Venus person becomes like a Venus in Virgo, right? So, yes, if the house person has more six house Virgo things going on, then they can appreciate the house person, the Venus person doing this for them, and they're gonna like the Venus person because that's how they view the love. But if they don't have, then yes, the Venus person's Venus is not gonna generate any kind of like feeling really from the house person. Like, okay, it's not necessarily that the, the romantic nature is going to be suppressed, but it's like their more romantic nature becomes less romantic and more practical and more of being of assistance to the house person. So it can be kind of weird. It can be kind of funny. It can feel kind of strange a little bit for the Venus person. But if that Venus is in the 6th house, but it's conjunct the descendant, so it's like really, really close to the house person's descendant, that's gonna change it a lot, okay? So keep that in mind. That's gonna 
give it that flavor of 7th house Venus as well as 6th house Venus so keep that in mind there um <clears throat> but you know the other way that this can be the other way that this placement can be perceived is that you know there's going to be because Venus is about harmony right there is going to be an enjoyment in the daily things that the two people do together they're gonna kind of enjoy doing grocery shopping together they're gonna enjoy cleaning the house they're gonna enjoy you know um, maybe even working together they're gonna enjoy cooking together you know, it's actually really important, right, in a relationship. You have to have that more domestic part of you, that more routine part of you um, happening. And routine is important in a relationship, in a sense. So, yes, Venus coming here will make routines more pleasant between the two of you. Um, and not so much like, like, you're not necessarily going to feel that it is so like you're frustrated by the way that your routine is working out with this person or you're like bored by the way that you have to do these routine things together you can feel a sense of like a nice pleasant feeling when you are engaging in routines together and when you are doing the routine things together and um this can be really nice for getting healthy together, you know, doing yoga together, exercising together, eating the right kind of foods together. And if you really think about it, you know, health is important in a long-term relationship. Like if you are with someone and you're not getting healthy together, you're like just making each other <laughs> gaining weight and um, getting sick. Would you really want to be in a long-term relationship with that person? And, but I think the best way that this placement can work is for co-workers or if you're actually working together like on a daily basis like you have to be doing some kind of daily work together and be co-workers this is a good placement for that kind of a relationship mostly <clears throat> so that's my take on Venus and Partner 6 house, if you have this placement, then please leave a comment below and let us know what your experiences have been. I'd really like to know, you know, how you have... This is an interesting placement to be having in a loving, in a love relationship. So I'd really like to know what your experiences have been, guys. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below if you haven't. If you have, then thank you very much for coming along on these astrology growth journeys, learning and growing together. And because now the Venus Sinistry series is finished, I'll be starting a new series on um, something about relationships, which I'm working on right now, but it's going to be a, a really big kind of a series and I'm really excited about it. And um, it's going to be like something that's going to kind of uh, come out in the channel in the long term like probably over six months or a year it's a big series and i'm really excited about it guys can't wait to share it all with you but that's not for this video i'll uh, see you soon bye